Hello everyone, welcome to the trick spot. So in today's video, we are going to learn to calculate the formal charge. So before uh, actually doing the trick, first let us know what is formal charge. And then I'll reveal the trick in the later half of the video. So let us first start with the definition. Now, it is the charge that an atom in a molecule would have if all the atoms had the same electronegativity. So we calculate formal charge for a particular atom in the molecule as a whole. And when we calculate that, it is actually a very long process, the older method, but which I'll, I will be teaching will be a much simpler one. So I hope it helps to everyone. So let us start with the old formula or the formula which we have been doing from the past so many years. So according to that formula, that describes formal charge or Fc as Ve, where Ve is the number of valence electrons of the atom. So Ve minus Lp, Lp is nothing but the lone pair of electrons and that minus half of Bp where Bp is nothing but the bonding pair of electron. Now let us come to the trick. So according to my trick, we say Fc as the group number of the element. So instead of Ve or the valence electron, we write the group number of the element, which I think everyone knows. Minus, instead of Lp, we write number of dots. Number of dots is nothing but number of electrons, okay? And then instead of half BP, we write number of lines. Now number of lines means single bond or double bond, the bond actually. So let us start with some examples to make the concept easier. So let us take the first example as O3 or ozone. So we draw the structure of ozone and we put all the lone pair of electrons on each atom properly. Now to make that easier, we are labeling each oxygen atom as 1, 2, 3. You can label them as A, B, C, anything what you like. So let us start with the first one. So for, for first one, we write F, C for 1. Then the first thing is group number of the element. Now we all know that oxygen belongs to group 6. So we write 6 over there minus number of dots so there are four electrons so number of dots is four minus number of lines so this oxygen is linked to another oxygen via a double bond so we write two bonds two lines two bonds so we write six minus four minus two which becomes two minus two which is equal to zero So the formal charge in the first oxygen atom is 0. Now let us take the second oxygen atom. So we write Fc for 2. So again the group number of the element won't change. So we write 6 over there. Then number of dots. So this oxygen or the oxygen 2 has only 2 electrons. So we write 2 over there. Then number of lines. So this oxygen is linked to two oxygen, one via a double bond and one through a single bond. So there are in all three bonds, right? Or three lines as we say. So that is what we write three. So six minus two minus three is nothing but four minus three, which becomes plus one or only one. So that is that was for the second one. Let us move on to the third oxygen atom. Now Fc for three. So Again, the group number won't change. So we write 6 over there. Number of dots. Now this oxygen has 3 lone pair of electron. That is, it has 6 dots. So we write 6 over here in place of uh, dots. Then we have number of lines. So this oxygen is linked to the second oxygen via a single bond. So there is only one bond present. So we write minus 1. So this becomes 0 minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. So isn't this easy? I find it very easier. I hope you all do. So this was the first example which we have taken of ozone or O3. We will be doing some more.
so let us take the second example for ph4 the second example is of ph4 so let us start by finding the formal charge for phosphorus atom so we know the group number of the element or the group number of phosphorus is 5 so we write 5 now there are no dots so we write 0 in place of dots and one phosphorus atom is linked to four hydrogen atoms so the number of lines are four so we write four over there so we get one that is five minus four is one now there are four hydrogens but all of them are equivalent so we need not find the formal charge for each so we just have to find for a single hydrogen atom so let us start by doing that now the group number of the element for hydrogen we know the group number is one so we write one in that place Again, there are no dots or electrons, so we write 0 in that place, so we write 0 over there. And one hydrogen is linked to phosphorus via a single bond, so we write 1 over there. So we get 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that is how we get formal charge for phosphorus and hydrogen, that is plus 1 and 0. Isn't this an easier method? If you have any queries, then please mention in the comment section below. I would love to help. Thank you.